gray hubs almost and they're actually going to be fed through okay so this is not going to be swiveling around anymore so let's see something here okay so how is this going to be done No, let's backtrack here. I think we made a boo-boo. He's got to go up one. There we have it. And then these just slide right in. Look at that. And then, <clears throat> according to step six, we just slide these right over. And we're complete. So now that does not move around. Okay, interesting enough. Now we're on to step seven. So it looks like this is going to form probably the foundation for the kit. Let's kind of zoom out now. So we're going to put this one off to the side. We're going to grab another one <coughs> from the box. And we're going to come back to these long blue ones we have here. Okay, and we're just gonna pull these long ones through. So we actually have to do this on both. Okay. Okay, I see how this is gonna work. So then. Let's see, we're going to have to plug all these in. So how are these going to plug in? According to this, this has got to go through there. That's what it looks like at least. Yep, sure enough it does. We slide it all the way through. I might have to fiddle around with it a little bit. But it does go through, and then this gets plugged in like so. So we've constructed that first part. This is looking at, this is starting to come to life for us. <clears throat> so, next step is we're going to be taking, looks like these guys over here, and uh, these connectors, and two long blue ones once again. One. Two. All right, so we've got that. And again, we're just following these pictures. It's not really telling us what to do. So first step is take these little pieces here, put them together like so. Okay, so now those two pieces are built. Then it says that these pieces here can be mounted right in there. So just making sure here, because what it looks like is these guys are going to go right here. All right, so I'm sure you can't see that too well. So what we've done is we put one of those there and then mounted. Put one of those there and then mounted the L shape here, or the J shape. And we're going to do the same on the other side, where we're actually going to just push it into the first hole over here. Then just push this one right in like so. There you have it. So that's step eight. Now, moving on to step nine, we're going to take these two black uh, connectors or axles or whatever you want to call them. Four of these black ones over here from the uh, connector bag. Four of those and two 
blue ones. Now these aren't the long ones, these are the short ones. Okay. So they're different than all the other ones we've been using, they're the shorter version. So, looks like what we're going to be doing is, these are actually going to go in here. Let's make sure I get that right. So you just put them in all the way. Okay, so those are in place. That's going to hold these from moving around. I'm certain that something else is going to plug into them. <clears throat> now we're going to take these blue ones and we're just going to put them in there. The nice thing about this kit is that it's just kind of straightforward how everything plugs together. You don't have to, uh, you know, think about it too much. And then these four black ones, let's see where they're going to be going. So it looks like we have to go on the other side here and put them over here. So it looks like we're going to be putting two to each side to the rear facing holes. I say rear because they're just, I'm assuming this is the front, but I'm not really sure yet. Okay, so we have two there and two here. All right. So that is step nine. That means we're halfway through. Sure enough, just like we said, we're going to be moving pretty fast. So. Now we're going to take these two L-shaped dark gray ones, four of the blue connectors, which it looks like there's only four left. Two. Oops, can't get this out. Three. Four. All right. Four, and then two of these small ones that we're talking about here. So one, two, looks like those are the right ones. All right, so now these will be mounted on the side here. And this is probably gonna go through somehow. So we just kind of put those there, and put one on either side. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and it looks like these small guys here will be used to hold these wheels or hold this in place. So what we're doing is taking those little small ones and we're just putting them here. And they go over this little axle which is definitely what's going to be used to drive it. So the servos are going to be used to drive this uh, around. <clears throat> and the last part is we have some mounting holes here, here, and here on the top and that's for the blue connectors. So we just put them in and they have a like a uh, star shape or hex uh, cross shape connector the other side is round so it obviously won't fit in with the round part and that's it that completes step 10 now step 11 looks like we're going to be taking these two parts here and they're going to be plugged in so how we're going to plug these in I'm not sure yet looks like they're going to be plugged in the back somewhere and top so the top one says to plug these in hmm so it looks like we might have made a little boo-boo here because some of these things are uh a little off, to, off balance here. <clears throat>